Have you ever wondered who is responsible for maintaining local services such as the public toilets, the public parish cemetery and grass cutting around the area? The answer is the parish council, a group of eight elected unpaid volunteers who work together to represent the people of Bryston, Brook, Halverston, Mottiston and Limmerston. The Vicar of Dibley image of a parish council with a pompous, bullying chairman presiding over a bunch of incompetence isn't, we hope, an accurate reflection of how we work. Parish councillors come from very different backgrounds and have very different skills, but have one thing in common, a commitment to make the parish a better place to live in. In recent years, councillors, with other community volunteers, have put a lot of effort into compiling the parish plan and the village design statement. Together, they define the special character of the parish and plan for the development and amenities which local people want for the future. The parish council spends a great deal of time studying and discussing planning applications. Recent years have seen some very high profile applications including the proposed wind farm on Cheverton Down and proposals for the development of Blanchards. In both of these cases the council made their response after organising surveys and public meetings to gauge local opinion. In 2010 the military road in Brook faced possible closure because of the rapid rate of erosion to the cliff. The Parish Council successfully lobbied the Isle of Wight Council to oppose the decision to allow the road to be closed. Last year the Isle of Wight Council announced deep cuts to many services including local libraries and public toilets. After much thought the Parish Council decided to take over responsibility for the toilets in Bryston for the benefit of local people and visitors alike and also to help fund the library to be run by a community group. The Parish Council f feels it is vital to protect and promote the future viability of local facilities such as the shops and post office and community buildings and it was partly for this reason that we decided to invest in a Discover Brystone leaflet to be distributed widely and a map in the centre of the village to enable visitors to fully enjoy our beautiful surroundings. The Parish Council meets monthly, in public, with mid-month planning meetings when required. A lot of the business is quite routine, but there are some exciting challenges coming up, including a decision on whether we should undertake a neighbourhood plan, some controversial planning applications, and more broadly seeing what we can do to maintain local services in the face of deep cuts to the Isle of Wight Council budget. Several of the existing councillors will be stepping down in May, so if you think you could serve your local community in this way, do consider putting your name forward. Do feel free to talk to any of the existing councillors or come along to one of the meetings if you want to know more about what we do.